So hello and welcome to today's mod showcase video where today we'll be taking a look at the game Sifu and of course a couple of buddy mods for it because you know me if there's buddy involved I'll probably get around to making a video on it at some point. So first of all I have to give three credits. First credit is to Blake Grippling PH for informing me this mod exists and introducing me to Sifu and second goes to Hookpie who's the creator of the Jimmy Hopkins mod and to Mokibo who made Gary Smith. So we're going to take a look at Jimmy Hopkins first because he replaces the main player character who I don't believe has an official name, even according to the wiki. Why, I don't know. And the Gary Smith mod replaces Yang, who's one of the main antagonists of the game. So, since Jimmy's the main player character, we'll be seeing most of him, so I'll leave Gary towards the end of the video. And the mod's links will be in the description below. So, when it comes to the Jimmy mod, obviously, you'll have to be using the male protagonist, since you do have the option between male or female, and since the main character has no name, we can continue calling him Jimmy if there any problems. So, with Jimmy himself, I have to say this mod is unironically one of the most fitting mods that put Jimmy into another game I've ever seen, because Sifu itself is a third person beat em up kind of game, and relies rather heavily on arcade like combos and button mashing, which fits in very well where we know Jimmy from. Of course the setting of Monday China is nothing like Bully or Bull Academy, but gameplay wise, I'd say so. So Jimmy himself does look a bit taller here, which I don't think is that noticeable to begin with, but considering the player character does begin at age 20, we can give a pass for that. Let's just say, I don't know, Jimmy's growth spurt finally kicked in. So one of the best things about Sifu and mixing it with the Jimmy mod, it's surprisingly not a character when Jimmy just starts beating up people and even wielding items like pipes and bottles too. It's extremely authentic. To be honest, during the first mission, I felt like I was playing a tenements like mission, you know, just running around beating up crackheads using pipes and bottles. The combat does also fit Jimmy quite well. I say quite, because while Jimmy isn't the kind of guy to quite literally smash someone's head in with a pipe, nor is he a martial artist, some of the finishers weirdly felt like something Jimmy would do, and in a way they felt like a really small taste of Bully 2. I'm not sure how to describe it, but if you have Sifu on PC, you can't go wrong with the Jimmy mod. Except the voice, because the voice does remain the same default one sadly. I also think Jimmy's model blends in quite well with Sifu's world. Once again, not the whole, you know, kind of Asian sort of aesthetic, but I mean the graphics, because the game goes for a slightly cell shaded look, I'm not sure how to describe the graphics, but it's not as intense as Borderlands obviously, but I think it shows strongest in the cutscenes, because outside of them the graphics are quite hard to describe. But you get the point, Jimmy doesn't look that out of place. Well, graphic wise of course. Sometimes he does look a little bit blocky in some scenarios, but it's not really that noticeable. So on to Gary Smith now, and I think the Gary Smith model is a bit bigger than most other characters in the game, I think, but anyway, like Jimmy, he fits in really, really well with the game's graphic aesthetic. Even more so in cutscenes, like I was seriously impressed when I saw how well Gary looked in the cutscenes. He does look a little bit blocky, which is to be expected since, you know, Buddy is a 2006 game, so you know, you're not going to expect high definition characters from that time. And in the prologue, where you actually do play as Yang, the wet models do look kind of horrible in a way, like Gary I'd say looks like, um, I don't know, an action figure who's been soaked or something, but yeah, I wonder if that's the same for Jimmy too, I don't know, I haven't got that far in the game yet. Also Gary's model does look like it glitches out sometimes in cutscenes where his eye texture would appear over his crest. Maybe if Gary fought like this in Final Showdown he could have actually won. And since Yang actually does appear as a mini fight in the credits tutorial, we can have a very small glimpse of another final showdown between Jimmy and Gary here. And yes, I know I'm terrible at this game, but I started playing it for like an hour before I made this video. Don't worry, I'll probably carry on playing it soon. It is actually a pretty good game to be fair if you like beat em ups. I also find it hilarious how in the intro, you go from a little Chinese boy and you just turn into Jimmy Hopkins like that amulet or whatever did that for you. But yeah, all in all, this is a pretty good mod for Sifu and worthy of checking out if you're a bully fan. Which if you're watching this, you probably are. So that's it for today's video, thank you for watching and have a great day.